is no secret when it comes to the Carolina Panthers. There was some pressure. There was some pressure during this offseason, during the NFL draft process. Um, you know, you talk about the fact that, I mean, six, what were you going to do? Trade down, trade up? What, what, what was it looking like? I mean, they weren't going to trade up. But the point is, they got their guy in Matt Corral. Uh, Sam Donald was also going to be that guy um, that probably starts as kind of that bridge quarterback. But at the end of the day, the biggest question to me is, you know, how's this team going to do? Uh, what, how, what's that going to look like for him? So uh, without further ado, we're going to go right into our Carolina Panthers full full 2022 record prediction you know the, the panthers are, are one of those teams that's either to me or on a fringe spot now it might not show in our record prediction but they're a fringe playoff team or a um you know a team that might be able to make some noise we'll have to see how it all ends up but this is kind of what we're projecting or what we're predicting for the nfl season uh but here's how it starts so uh i think week one versus cleveland the biggest thing about this is i this all, all these games could go either way obviously i mean this is the nfl but i just i don't know every time that an NFL franchise has been forced to produce in a, a scenario where, or at least the ones I've watched, uh, well, with my team, the Vikings, they very rarely produce when they're forced to. Like when there is pressure on this franchise, of course there's pressure, but like you produce or you're fired. So I just feel like there's this is a year where um, the Panthers are in a spot where they need to do something. They need to make the playoffs. And I just, I don't see it ending well. Um, but again, I do think at the end of the day, they uh, there is going to be some success. I do think that Matt Corral is that guy. I think he's going to be really fun to watch. Uh, but overall, I, I do question how this franchise will start. You, you see it in week one against the Browns. You know, the Browns are arguably a very good team when and if, if and when uh, Deshaun Watson plays this year. So, um, you know, it's a, the first game of the year is a 1 o'clock Eastern uh, Daylight Time game for uh, the, the, the Panthers here, and it is at home against the Cleveland Browns. And the thing is, I think they start this one off with a loss. I, I think they start the year off. Uh, it is going to be tough. The Browns coming into town you don't know sam donald who's going to be the starting quarterback uh you know and it's i think this is going to be a tough first start if if it is a guy like matt crowell that comes in uh but either way i don't think it's going to be easy for the panthers you talk about again uh, a young potentially rookie quarterback coming in or sam donald also that defense uh, i still i still think is very good in this league but you know i do think it's going to be interesting to see how it all pans out but i do think that uh you know this is going to be uh, somewhat of a toss-up but i give the browns the win in this scenario week two uh at the new york giants you know once again a one o'clock p.m eastern daylight time uh you know again you're at the giants i think the giants have way more questions than the panthers do right now uh and i'm really excited uh for this game because I do think it will be I do I do think it will be telling for both franchises because I think both franchises are kind of in a similar situation you talk about Daniel Jones for the Giants and you also talk about uh, Matt Corral for the Panthers uh, it's going to be very telling again whoever's starting for the Panthers but I give this one a win for the Panthers over the Giants uh, like I said I think the Panthers are a fringe playoff team but uh, they should go and easily get a win in week two over the Giants Week three versus the Saints. Uh, this is at home. Uh, this is a one o'clock Eastern Daylight Time game. That is, excuse me. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Uh, this, like, there's so many teams this year. Like, you talk about teams like the Saints. You talk about teams like the Panthers, the Giants. That, like, they have these quarterbacks that I, it could go either way. It really could. Jameis Winston could be one of those guys that does some things, uh, or not very much not. So, um, I do think they go in. Uh, they go back home. They get the win here against the Saints. Uh, and I think. Things are looking up two and one, uh, but then comes week four. Uh, they uh, play the Arizona Cardinals, um, and I think that's going to be a tough game. You talk about, I know it's at home. Uh, this is a 4:05 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time game. You know this is going to be interesting. You talk about the Panthers in a spot where they have to make something happen here, two and one. But I just. The Cardinals, uh, I know that DeAndre Hopkins isn't back from his suspension yet, but I do think uh, that they have enough firepower to take down the Panthers. Again, I just it really depends on if and when Matt Corral, um, you know, comes at a spot where he is developing faster um, than expected. So I do think they take the loss here against the Cardinals, who are a playoff team, um, but I, I do think it's a closer game than a lot of people think. Um, this does begin a little bit of a tough, tough stretch for uh, the Panthers because I just, I don't know, it's the it's the quarterback situation for me. We'll be the first to admit when we're wrong, but we'll have to see how this all gets going. But um, 
He talked about going back, coming back home again, third straight game here at home against the 49ers. I think this is another loss. Uh, this is also, once again, a 4.05 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time starting game. So I, I think the biggest thing here is the Panthers are going to try to run the football, I believe, or, or at least going to try to incorporate Christian McCaffrey, Chuba Hubbard, whoever. And I just don't know how well that's going to go. Uh, and they're also going to be forced to stop the run, which I think could also be very interesting. So the 49ers here, I think, come into um, the Carolina territory and get the win here. So that is tough to see. And then you have a uh, week six at the Los Angeles Rams here. Um, this game is uh, in all intents and purposes going to be interesting to talk about another 4.05 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time starting game. Uh, and it is once again in Los Angeles. So I do think um, the Rams are going to be in, in, in an interesting spot here as well as the Panthers, but I don't think the Panthers are able to get this done. Um, and again, I do think if Matt Corral does start, things do look up and better for the Panthers than Sam Darnold. But right now I'm kind of, I would say Sam Donald's going to start, uh, Darnold is going to start for, I would say, Oh, the, the the first five or six games, you know, if if uh, if Matt Corral does come out and start playing well, the, some of these L's could be turning into W's, and I'd be, I would be very excited for that. Week seven at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, uh, excuse me, versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, um, you know, this is going to be an interesting game. Tom Brady back. I think Gronk might retire. That could be very interesting. One o'clock uh, p.m. Eastern Daylight starting game there. Um, so I, I think that they uh, do uh, end up losing this game because again, uh, just the Bucks. I think they're going to be a tough team. They're going to be very very, very tough team. Um, coming back week eight, uh, you know, and this is kind of one of those things where, you know, uh, you go into a, a tough, uh, I believe, a division rival here and you try to get a win. And I think they do against the Atlanta Falcons, even though the Falcons, I mean, they, they got, you know, Drake London, uh, you know, Ekabidi in the draft. I, I can never see any of these names right. But I do. I am excited about the direction of the Falcons. But you talk about uh, the Panthers here. I do think they find a way to go into Atlanta and get a win there. Week nine at the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, this game is uh, going to be a Joe Burrow special. Just kidding. Uh, I think this is going to be this game starts at one o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, and you go in to play the Bengals. That's going to be a tough game for anybody. I do think the Bengals escape with a win here uh, and live to see another day. Uh, then week 10 against uh, Atlanta once again. I do think they drop this one. I think Atlanta will start to put things together. Atlanta's not a playoff team, and neither are the, uh, well, Well, I mean, the Panthers are a fringe playoff team. But Atlanta's not a playoff team, but I do think they th they start to put some things together towards the end of the season. So I'll give the edge here to Atlanta. Um, you know, even though they are coming into the Panthers stadium, I just feel like Atlanta will put it together towards the end of the season. Week 11 at the Baltimore Ravens. Man, this is tough. Uh, you talk about uh, this is going to be one of those things where... <sighs> Man, how do they have a good draft every single year? It just baffles me. And they're just, they're always competitive. Will depend on Lamar Jackson, how he plays. But I do think going into Baltimore, I do think that uh, they do uh, end up not able to get that done. Once again, at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, starting time there. And then you, you are once again at home against the Denver Broncos. I think they're able to get a win here against the Broncos. The Broncos, their offensive line is like, okay, you know, it is it is what it is. Uh, they've got weaponry. Their defense is going to be mad, majorly improved. But I think they surprise many and get a win here week 12 at home against the Broncos. Week 13, bye week. Vikings fans know what it's like to lose to your bye week. Just kidding. Inside joke with my dad. Uh, week 14 at the Seattle Seahawks. I think they get a, a win here in Seattle. You know, I just feel like obviously Seattle is they're going to be um, Drew Locke and company. They're going to be rebuilding for a little while so uh, a 425 p.m. Uh, Eastern Eastern Standard Time starting game here so I think it will be interesting but I think they go into Seattle and get a win there then they're coming back home against the Pittsburgh Steelers, 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also a win here. I feel like the the, the Steelers are going to be, I don't want to say rebuilding, but they're going to be retooling at the very least. I will be uh, very interested to see how Kenny Pickett does, how fast potentially he does overtake Mitchell Trubisky to be the starting quarterback there in Pittsburgh. Uh, week 16 against Detroit. You know, uh, coming back home against the Lions, I really feel like the Lions are going to, like, they're going to have a big time here. Now, when I say big time, I think they go from, you know, that 3-4 uh, type uh, win team to an 8 win team. I, did, I think they're going to see a nice jump, uh, and I think you could see a, a lot of good things happening in Detroit. Uh, once again, 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, for this game as well. Um, but the, uh, I think the Lions are going to start to put it together, um, you know, uh, just like the Falcons heading into uh, the late in the year. Uh, then uh, Week 17 against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 
Rangers. I think this is a win. Tampa Bay, <laughs> let, let's face it, they're probably going to be in the playoff race. Tom Brady might not play. Uh, but yeah, I think at the end of the day, uh, they do find a way to get a win against Tampa Bay. And hopefully we start to see some good things from Matt Corral. Week 18, rounding the whole thing out. I think, um, you know, New Orleans, they might be pushing for a playoff spot. I don't know. I think it's going to be really interesting. But uh, I think you, you split it here with the Saints as well. Uh, and you end the season 7-11. and 11. Uh, But again, a lot of these uh, these games could go either way, especially if Matt Corral comes in and plays very well at a very young age. I think he can. I think he can absolutely come in and lead this franchise. But there's a lot of pressure. We'll have to see how it all unfolds. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome. We love every single one of you. In the description down below, you find all of our social media platforms. Give us a like and a follow there. Also, remember to give us a listen and sub on iTunes. And finally, if you have anything else you'd like to cover, send us an email at the sportsbp at yahoo.com or, or put in the comment section down below and we would love to cover it. But let us know what you guys think about the Carolina Panthers or our Carolina Panthers 2022 record prediction.